Let's face it, even though we like to think of ourselves as perfect, we all make mistakes, right? Sometimes more, more mistakes than others. Some mistakes are bigger than others. Some have more impact than others. And some are just minuscule little blips on the radar. However, it's a big, important area to really focus on. I'm learning to forgive yourself when you make these mistakes. And I'm going to explain why. So hey there, everybody. It's Kate Beaters, your breakthrough success expert. So when you make mistakes, you know, big, little, whatever, it does affect your self-confidence. It erodes your self-esteem because if you should be up here, which is where you should be with self-confidence and self-esteem, and every time you have a, a, a mistake, you know, you do something wrong, you know, it, it starts knocking it down. It's like chipping it down, chipping it down, chipping it down. And often you're not even aware of how often this is doing and how long some of these things are lasting. It could be something that happened years ago and it's still holding you down here instead of letting you bounce back up. And when it does affect your self-confidence and your self-esteem, it impacts the type of action you'll take. It impacts, you know, who, maybe who you hang out with. It might affect what, what, um, what jobs you go after or how much you charge or your salary or all sorts of things. The relationships you're in, where you live everything. So it's important to be able to clear it out and really forgive yourself when you do make mistakes because inevitably, as I said, we are humans, we will make mistakes. So we're going to tap on this and if you have never tapped before, please go to katebeaters.com forward slash tapping. You can learn all about this phenomenal technique that's changed millions and millions of people's lives, including my own. And tapping is a super powerful technique. If you don't like it, take responsibility for your own well-being and simply stop. If you're enjoying these videos, please do me a favor and support my channel by liking and also subscribing to this channel. So let's start. Go ahead and take a nice deep breath. Inhale through your nose and let it back out. Okay, we're going to start inside the hand karate chop, tapping, repeating after me. Um, and tapping where I tap, even though sometimes it feels impossible or at least difficult to forgive myself when I've made this mistake. I want to love and accept myself. Even though it might feel impossible, challenging or difficult to forgive myself when I've made a mistake. I want to love and accept myself. Even though it might feel difficult, challenging, maybe even impossible, to forgive myself for making this mistake. I want to love and accept myself. Okay, shake them out. We're gonna to go to the points on the face and body. Again, repeating after me. It feels impossible. It's challenging. feel really difficult to forgive myself for making this mistake. It can be impossible, challenging, and difficult to forgive myself for making this mistake. Maybe I'm feeling stupid. Maybe I'm playing the blame game, the shame game, feeling guilty game, all sorts of things. Maybe I don't think I deserve to be forgiven. Maybe I think what I did was too big. or too important, or so minuscule that it was stupid for me to screw up. How could I not have known better? 
Maybe I should have asked for help. I should have done better. I shouldn't have made this mistake. Now everyone's going to be looking at me. They're going to know I made this mistake. And they may be talking about me behind my back. And I think they'll probably remember forever. And I'll probably remember forever too that I made this stupid mistake. And if I'm going to remember it forever, I'm not going to call it a stupid mistake. I'm going to call it a huge, gigantic mistake. How could I have been so dumb? How could I have been so stupid? Boy, I can be really critical of myself. I can really be good at calling myself names. Of knocking myself down. Of hurting my value. Of not believing in myself for this mistake. And the truth is I'm probably gonna make millions of mistakes in my life. And if I never forgive myself for all my mistakes, I'll never have any self-worth. I'll never have any self-confidence. And that's a really crappy way to live. And I really don't want to live that way. Because I deserve more. And everybody makes mistakes. It's really how you deal with it. How you resolve it. So I want to learn to forgive myself. For these mistakes I've made. And no, I'll make a lot more mistakes in the future. And I don't want to let this hold myself back. I don't want these mistakes to hold back my worthiness or the abundance I attract into my life. I want to realize that they're just things that happened and that I'm not perfect. that still does not affect my worthiness. I still am worthy of all I desire. And I forgive myself. Okay, everybody, deep breath and let it out. Do you feel like something got lifted? Give yourself a little bit of forgiveness, right? I like every you've been watching my videos, you know, I always kind of do this because I just notice things have been lifted, and that's so critical. It's so critical because the more you hold on to this stuff, the more it weighs you down, the harder it takes, harder it is for you to take action to move forward and show up in your brilliance and attract all the abundance and success that you are worthy of, that you are deserving, and, and that's really what I want for you. And so if while we were tapping, things popped up of maybe bigger issues, things that are kind of hard for you to let go. I would love the opportunity to talk to you about private coaching and how I can help you take a deeper dive. You just need to reach out to my team, info at And until we meet again, be brilliant.